Good morning guys, what's up, what's happening? Hope that you guys are having a good day wherever you are. Today we're starting off in the canvas bar and quarry. There's some dirt jumps right in front of me, we'll get onto them in just a second. We're on the little spark, 120 millimeters of travel, 29 inch wheels. This thing is a flying machine and we're gonna take it round for a lap of the North Third Reservoir. Now it is absolutely stunning up there. There's some really cool cliff top trails and uh, I'm excited to get back out on this thing. It's been a little bit of a while and the climb just to the quarry was so fast on this thing. So I think we're in for a good ride. Let's warm up by doing a few little dirt jumps. So, we have successfully conquered what is known as the baby set on the 120mm Spark. This time we're going to go for the big set. Now, they're not absolutely massive or too much different, but they are all doubles. So, let's drop in and see if we've still got it. This bike is actually so fun. I'm pretty amazed how capable it is. Being able to do, well, it's not a huge dirt jump line, but it is a dirt jump line of some sort of sizable jumps, and it made it through no problem. Probably not really designed for that, but that was fun. Now, we're gonna go and do something that is definitely designed for. And that's a nice little trail ride. So we're gonna head out that way, and it goes on to sort of beautiful panoramic reservoir, a little island there, some cliff top stuff. The trails are just really fun and this is the perfect bike for it. made it to the base of the climb and I figured I'd just stop here, take it all in because it's absolutely stunning around here and it's a gorgeous day here in Scotland. The sky is blue, over behind the camera in that direction you've got sort of the start of the highlands, the mountains have all got sort of a snow line on them, they're looking absolutely gorgeous. It just feels nice to be out here so show you around and then we're going to head out around the reservoir and we're eventually going to end up on that cliff line right up there. And uh, I think you'll recognize it from a video, a very famous video. We're nearing the top of the trail and we've come to this section. It's got a really challenging climb. It was frozen and frosty this morning, making it really grippy and hard pack. It started to defrost. It's quite grassy here. And it's actually really steep. So we are gonna try and make it up. Let's see how we get on. Yeah. Not today, look at that tire. Ugh. We've made it to the highest point of our ride for the day, and you might recognize this very famous trick point. It was in Danny McCaskill's wee day out, and somehow he managed to ride along, hop up onto it, and hop back off it pretty impressive when you see the size of it. It's like full shoulder line when I'm sat on the bike. That's a fair height. From here, 
Well, there's a nice little flat traverse along the cliff top, and then we start to get into some sort of gnarly or more technical trails. And I've not ridden it for a while, but so far, this has been the perfect bike for it. Excited to get out for a little rip. point of the ride now that section there was called 13 steps pretty challenging technical rock garden you probably saw that I was using all 120 millimeters on the spark really really fun though this thing is surprisingly capable now we're gonna go up a little hill climb it's pretty steep it's very narrow tends to be rutted out so it's gonna be another hill climb challenge let's see if we can get up it Sorry, it's rude to talk whilst you're eating. Managed to make it up that hill climb. Pretty tough going. I was definitely feeling a bit short of breath by the time I got to this point. And uh, yeah, quite happy. I used to not be able to make it up that even when I was racing World Enduro. So it's a sign that I've also got a bit fitter. So I'm gonna enjoy this bar. Then I'm gonna go down the next descent. We're gonna GoPro it. And then on to the next section that's got some really cool features that we're gonna shoot on. So I'll see you there. Oh yes! Yeah, that felt pretty good to actually come down that section real fast and then you've got to carry all your speed up here. I've never even really made it up that before. So that's two firsts in one day. Pretty stoked with that. It feels good because you get like a G-force right at the bottom just as you hit those rocks. Carry your speed up. Pretty pumped on that. And the last time I was actually here the trees were still in place so it was quite different and I think the descent down back to the end of the trail don't know what to expect, so I think we're in for a little surprise.
we are. We are back in the canvas barn quarry where we started. And growing up, I used to come up here pretty much every weekend, either on the trials bikes or on the mountain bikes. Now this sort of band of ridgeline right here, I used to think it was the gnarliest thing ever to try and descend down. It reminded me of Red Bull Rampage, those big dunes that they drop off, hark off. And uh, looking at it 15 years on, there's really not much to it. You can just roll down this super easy. So guys, hope that you've enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumb up like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Let's drop into here and do some rampage stuff. Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't realize how fast that bit was.